getting that box of wine from Bobby Pets. Just sort of coming home, having the doorman give me that package, signing for it, taking it upstairs, just opening it up and just sort of seeing what wine comes out. Uh, every month it's a different, a uh, whole bunch of great things that I found through this amazing service. The bottle is, is, is introducing people all over the world to so many wines and it's reaching a, a new demographic. They've developed this very unique profiling system that allows people to profile themselves. She loves Sauvignon Blanc, she loves Burgundy, that's her bottle nose profile. Take what, what my tastes are in wine and then send me new bottles that I haven't tried, new, new varietals and new um, labels that I haven't tried yet in the monthly, the monthly shipment me an opportunity to, to, to try different things that I might not ordinarily try and to also have someone else's experience in trying the wine. All of my girlfriends, we always get together and we talk about wine and we always taste and sample different wines. It's great because we can go back to Bottle Nuts as a resource to find out um, about the different wine profiles and um, get um, tasting profiles for the, for the different wines, which uh, is always fun to do as you're drinking the wine. My wine profile is uh it's ever expanding, I would say. Um, uh, I definitely have the, the reds and the, that I like, my staples, my go-tos. Uh, but I've recently traveled some time in Europe and spent some time in Greece, and so I've had to add some new varieties to my wine profile that I would have never expected. And I'm excited to see uh, who out there on Bottle Notes also shares my interest in these new kind of wines. So I'm going to be honest and say my cellar doesn't actually exist. I live in San Francisco. So my cellar is really a cabinet next to my refrigerator, and it has a lot of red wines. I would like to think that one day I'll have an actual cellar, but until then, I'll continue to buy a lot of sparkling whites, a lot of cabs, merlots, pinots here and there, and just enjoy when I can, when I can. The only kind of wine I have in my refrigerator is champagne. It seems to go very quickly, so I'm always buying it, but I love having wine in the fridge, uh, a lot of white uh, in the fridge, but I'm not really that picky. My main thing is, hey, if you're coming over to hang out, bring a bottle of wine. Now I'm collecting a lot of dessert wines, sauternes, um, anything affected by rot, basically, um, and a lot of things that were iced over on the vine. You know, in Vino Veritas, right, you're sitting around with a bunch of friends and with a good bottle of wine and people start to loosen up and the real feelings come out and, you, you know, you just share things that you don't, you, you might not normally see. And I'm not even talking about the buzz of the wine, it's just the community around the table of sharing that bottle and that food around the table, so it's all about promoting that kind of culture, friendship. Wine, wine, wine. How come, why is the wine always gone? 